I'm very happy to be here with AVS and Epson talking about the 6050 projector. I'm here with Kevin Miller, who is a calibrator, a very well-known calibrator, and you've worked with Epson before, but let's just put that aside for the moment, shall we? Sure. Tell me what you think of this new projector, the new technology, how has it improved over previous generations? What's your assessment? I mean, I'm very familiar with the 6040 from the last year. To me, the big, really big deal here is the improvement in the HDR performance of the projector. They've given us, first of all, um, a lot more choices in terms of settings for HDR uh, and how they deal with different HDR content. Right, it's called tone mapping. And not very many projectors or even displays give you that much control over it. In fact, most projectors don't give you any control at all. You feed it HDR, you set it up for HDR, and it is what it is. And it is what it is, and that's it. This, um, these different settings are actually addressing different luminance levels for tone mapping algorithms. And I found in my evaluation of the product that um, with different content, using different settings makes a big, big difference. Actually going in and changing parameters no, it's, it's for not, different content, that's, that's going to take a certain level of geekiness, is it not? I, I agree, and frankly, I even personally, I don't really want to have to do that myself, but with that said, I can tell you that, I mean, HDR is a very complex world we're living in now. There are different ways of mastering the content, different tone mapping algorithms that will happen depending upon how that content was mastered. And what Epson clearly has done is tried to address these different tone mapping algorithms. So it's beneficial for sure. How many people are actually going to pick up the remote control and start uh, playing around with them? Yeah, I agree with you. This is a... The fact that it's available is important. How could that be a bad thing? Right. The big deal in terms of the improvement over last year's 6040 and this year comes with the HDR performance. I think the SDR is pretty much identical to last year's product, maybe a little bit better, a uh, little more brightness, but Certainly the HDR brightness. performance is customizable to a point that we did not have last year, and it's a, it's a big deal. Did you find it relatively easy to calibrate? Yeah, I actually did, in terms of grayscale calibration. Did a color management calibration Color as well? management works real well. I've been impressed with their product line for a long time. So have I. How can you not be when you look at the price point and the value quotient and the performance level? It's pretty hard to beat. Seems so to me.